Hi everyone, I am SS Kiran. I would like to discuss about diode characteristics or VI characteristics of PN junction diode. Okay, by using Proteus software. Okay, just you can observe the icon of Proteus software is closely. Okay, just simply clicking of this software, you may design any type of circuit. Uh, let's start with a simple aim. A PN junction diode characteristics. You can take germanium or a silicon as per your requirement. Okay. Uh, the aim of your uh, experiment of our experiment to observe and draw the forward and reverse bias VI characteristics. The required components are diode RPS, a regulated power supply 0 to 30 volts or 15 volts, a resistor, ammeter, and voltmeter, both are DC, breadboard. Uh, connecting wires okay based on the requirement uh, let's uh, we'll go to the circuit diagram based on circuit diagram only we can design in the proteus software okay uh, this is the circuit diagram in the forward bias see here uh, there is rps and the uh, diode uh, voltmeter ammeter resistor very simple circuit okay very very simple uh, diode having two terminals one is anode and second one is the cathode the positive is connected to the anode and negative is connected to the cathode just open the proteus software uh, hopefully last video i have discussed uh, some topics about this proteus software same uh, there is a component mode is there just observe closely every time you have to click here for uh, uh, searching those components okay here click p uh, by clicking this P, you can search any type of components. I will try with one component like uh, 1N4007. Okay, uh, just simply type whatever you have required the component. Then click that uh, uh, 1N4007. Uh, then come back to down. Just click the OK. This file uh, come back to the library form. So click OK. Just observe closely. Okay, you can understand then simply you can click OK okay now the comeback original menu so just observe closely the 1 and 4007 is enabled uh, come back to circuit okay uh, now by using this circuit we can design in the Proteus software okay this is RPS section if you want RPS uh, better you can pick one uh, part and some depends upon your requirement okay uh, source uh, if you want voltage source you can take around 1 to 15 or some voltage source is required this is you can search from um, list okay you can search from list first we have to design RPS okay okay you can learn slowly okay mm, it's not nothing to worry mm, you can understand everything mm, first we have to concentrate on how to design RPS okay this is also very useful in the future uh, correspondence okay uh, that's uh, just simply you can drag and drop the voltage source then res uh, then the part uh, part of uh, some resistance okay of varying the voltage levels okay then then concentrate on diode 1 and 4007 right uh, then one voltmeter uh, then one more uh, after the diode uh, placing the diode then voltmeter just simply uh, take from the virtual instruments mode just click here I have shown closely uh, yes here DC voltmeter is there just simply click and sim simply uh, drag and drop here okay like a visual GUI okay simply drag and drop here uh, better to hmm, flip that mode mm, right minus 90 degrees that's fine okay mm, just paste here right go, cool okay the placing is very important of the all the components just observe how can I placing now okay mm, this is diode uh, you know mm, positive and the diode having two terminals anode and cathode if it is forward by a state anode is always connected to positive terminal 
cathode is connected to negative terminal now then diode starts the conduction okay that is the main principle okay if you want to work with uh, forward bias always anode terminal is connected to the power supply positive cathode terminal is connected to the uh, power supply negative okay uh, one more voltmeter is required uh, for the calculating the applied voltage sometimes it is also mandatory some experiments uh, how much voltage you have applied to the rps because in this uh, voltmeter doesn't have any voltage that's why you have to connect voltmeter okay uh, coming to circuit uh, there is amp meter as a required okay then resistor uh, resistor simply you can place here okay it's not possible just simply you can flip resistor uh, okay that's fine uh, just come just simply you can place here yes all the components have been taken from the library uh, simply um, dropped here uh, just uh, placing is very very important otherwise it's not looking good uh, keep all are in good format okay you have to do some little bit modifications okay now uh, it's our time first of all you have to design complete rps that's good okay mm, then this is a diode diode is placed voltmeter voltmeter is placed right ammeter ammeter is placed good uh, then resistor is also placed this is completely rps section okay uh, okay better you have to change here voltage level if you want input voltage around 15 volts simply you can type here a uh, one five or uh, your wish uh, based on your requirement okay uh, then click okay that's fine uh, observe how can i do okay mm, then this is the uh, resistance voltmeter is very important uh, you can also change millivolts or um, depends upon the requirement just you have to change the display range otherwise no need mm, now uh, if you want to measure voltage uh, okay if you can use voltmeter if you want to measure current in the ammeters milliamps then you have to change this display range keep as milliamps okay that is very important here 19.1 k resistor you have to change around 1k 1k is good but observe the diode characteristics okay 1k right good hmm. then click ok uh, of course all uh, specifications and ranges have been changed okay uh, now uh, this is time to connect each and every component that, that then it will be called a circuit okay then starting point is uh, starts with one point same point will ends with that same point okay right mm. now uh, this uh, just better if you want to do any uh, designing part the placing of the components is very very important okay see here there is a problem to connect that arrow uh, terminal to the anode terminal so better they have to replace some nearby other side okay mm, then simply connect mm, like uh, simply connect that end to this end by using wire okay it can be possible by using mouse only okay okay uh, see uh, if you have any problems is occurred simply you can click ctrl z okay uh, then last operation will be disabled mm, right uh, now uh, power supply negative is connected to resistor other end mm, this ammeter negative is connected to resistor uh, uh, first end okay the placing of the component is very important i have told many times uh, be careful about this uh, uh, this uh, placing of the component okay now it's a good way to uh, observe okay right good uh, this uh, rps positive and rps negative this can be treated as a uh, applied voltage how much voltage you have applied uh, to the circuit mm, by using voltmeter we can measure okay that's fine right okay uh, this complete power supply section is over uh, by old uh, some voltage source and uh, so connecting some part uh, part uh, then vo some voltmeter okay now it's time to connect uh, um, this voltmeter across the diode 
okay that's fine uh, cathode is connected to ammeter positive uh, just okay mm, fine now this voltmeter negative is connected to um, so there is a problem here so better you have a little bit um, adjust do some adjustment here okay uh, that's fine uh, simply just drop this resistor near near okay near right side uh, that's fine this is also have to do by using mouse it can be possible I, I, I think my mouse will face some problem okay right okay good and now this negative is connected to the um, cathode side this positive is connected to the anode side by observing the voltage across the diode okay now uh, see the complete circuit this is the power supply section that's fine come back to the circuit okay mm, mm, yes this is the rps mm, this is voltmeter this is volt this is uh, uh, diode diode good ammeter ammeter is also placed right yes one more i have repeating resistor resistor is also placed right okay uh, this is the uh, uh, entire circuit okay entire circuit what i am shown in the word i have designed here now uh, see observe closely mm, there is a play button is there now we are executing this circuit without uh, giving an external external just virtually we can executing now now click the play button uh, see here uh, first uh, before going to the execution first you have to do some small modifications even though if it is rps you have to keep zero mode so better you have to keep zero mode uh, observe here uh, some percentage is varying uh, so just you can observe uh, better to zero right now it's our rps in the zero voltage mode okay okay right now it's uh, time to play the circuit it's time to um, execute the circuit okay uh, now click uh, play button uh, this is the uh, for uh, writing the values this voltmeter across the diode and current across uh, for uh, diode okay now play this button okay see here the initial voltage is applied voltage is zero you have to write zero and current is also zero applied voltage is zero across the diode is zero and uh, drawing of the current is also zero okay now increasing slowly one by one okay uh, see here 0 0.15 that's fine what is the current zero that's fine current is zero then increasing one more so you 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 have you people have to observe that uh, voltmeter and ammeter only okay across the diode voltmeter and ammeter seriously connected ammeter you have to concentrate only only these two meters no need to concentrate on applied voltage voltmeter okay once again i will repeat you you people concentrate only across the diode voltmeter and series with series with ammeter only now slowly i have increasing the voltage okay uh, 0 0.45 now 0 0.6 okay 0 0.52 the current is 0 0.22 that's fine just come back to slowly you can increase the input voltage by using rps okay uh, step by step procedure just uh, note down the values and increasing the applied voltage and take the values across the diode and the series with the ammeter okay, 0 0.58 what is the value 0 0.85 that's fine again you have to increase the input voltage just observe the across the diode 0 0.59 uh, okay okay 0 0.59 0 0.60 what is the current value 1 point around 3 4 right now uh, 0 0.61 0 0.62 uh, then it's a way to design uh, uh, any type of circuit any type of circuit it can be possible uh, by using proteus software this software is 100 um, percent uh, useful to all electronic students okay even though you can you can design any type of circuit virtually you can place lcds and uh, you can use microcontrollers processors a to d converters lm triple five ic721 okay 741 whatever it is everything available in the components mode 
okay uh, then i have increasing one more okay uh, then 0 0.64 how much current here 3.19 that's fine again increasing 0 0.65 mm, 0 0.65 Mm, is taking around for 0 0.65 it, it can take around how much 4.09 mm, whatever whatever i am taking across the diode uh, and the same currents ha have been noted down here 0 0.66 then what is current here of oh, 5 very good 0 0.67 now mm, 0 0.67 now 0 um, 6.33 something mm, 6.33 you have to write down okay uh, then just simply applied voltage is increasing uh, here hope you people can understand across the diode voltage maintaining little bit constant okay so it's increasing applied voltage almost cross to 10 volts but across the diode is maintaining only 6.9 then come back to 9.5 something yes now it's a time uh, to show the cutting voltage of your pn junction diode see here 0 0.7 uh, 12.2 even though if you increasing the input voltage there is no change in the across the diode okay if even though if you increasing the input voltage or applied voltage across the diode voltage that completely fixed at 0 0.70 especially this discussion helpful for to find out the cutting voltage of your pn junction diode okay hope you people can understand about this operation okay if you want any theory part just you people please go through with my video lectures okay in description i have provided my video description also please go through it okay uh, so the, this is the cutting voltage right 0 0.7 volts of uh, silicon if it is germanium if it is 0 0.3 volts uh, in v, in my general video lectures about the conceptual i have mentioned everything please go through it in subs in my description i have provided links also okay anyway this these are all the characteristics of pn junction diode um, just uh, you can design um, reverse bias also okay uh, you can design reverse bias also just simply you can observe the circuit diagram okay in the coming reverse bias uh, that a cathode terminal is connected to the positive anode terminal is connected to the negative that is the uh, main concept okay that is nothing but the reverse bias okay okay now uh, simply you can do one thing just stop the uh, this animation or execution part simply you can reverse the diode that's enough okay and nothing to worry about all those things okay and simply you can um, uh, replace the diode interchange the diode okay uh, remove this diode uh, de delete button okay uh, if you want to observe reverse bias uh, current characteristics voltage and current characteristics you people must change your ammeter into the microammeters microamps that is mandatory otherwise you cannot observe that leakage currents very very small currents hopefully there is no current in the reverse bias that is very much, everybody knows very well there is no current in the reverse bias you may expect leakage currents reverse saturation currents in the form of microamps okay that's why you people you, you are have to place this uh, microammeter right good uh, this is a way to uh, design a reverse bias uh, pn junction diode circuit uh, come down to zero uh, just you can uh, play as it is uh, old story right uh, so okay okay just just you observe uh, in the microamperes current is there you know just if you increasing the value uh, there is a microamperes 10 to the power of minus 6 amperes it's nothing impossible of course uh, those current is nothing but the reverse saturation currents or leakage currents okay uh, uh, this is the way if you want to draw even this uh, current this microampere current and volt characteristics also just simply uh, this is uh, comes into the negative side 
okay uh, people uh, know very well about this how to draw this characters just now i have uh, discussed in uh, uh, pn junction diode forward bad characteristics just simply uh, tabulated in the uh, in the graph this is the circuit okay come back to the sheet just remove the uh, this uh, this values that now you have to place this uh, microamps values okay uh, i hope uh, you people can understand how to draw this x axis in the graph how to draw in y axis okay in, in x axis better you can take uh, voltage in x axis you can take current then simply draw uh, uh, draw lines okay mm, just you can observe a little bit current like that okay uh, actually uh, you have to design you can design such simple circuits okay such a very good circuit especially by using this proteus software okay this software may helpful for uh, engineering final year students uh, degree final year students electronic students or electrical students or mechanical students uh, irrespective of branch you people uh, working with some like sensors and everything okay some uh, lcds displays and everything this software hundred percent helpful for irrespective of hardware okay uh, okay uh, that's why you you people have to uh, try to design this type of circuits it's may very helpful any type of circuits even though you can do programming uh, programming also can be possible in this software okay programming means you can do programming by using xilinx or uh, um, okay uh, any software uh, by using any software to do some programming simply you can see show the path okay uh, this is the way uh, to read uh, characteristics of uh, pn junction diode uh, same you may observe here okay uh, then uh, okay actually uh, this is the way to design entire circuit uh, now uh, uh, see here uh, the reverse bias there is a small current uh, just if you come back to the stop the signal stop the execution part uh, then come back to original mode uh, that they got pn junction forward bias uh, there is a possible to current issue so here the main thing is a uh, pn junction diode under works in only forward bias see here there is a current here it's working only forward bias okay it's working only forward bias it does not works in the reverse bias okay it does not works in the, the, the in the forward bias there is a current is there current conduction process is going on simply the reverse bias there is nothing there is no current flowing entire the circuit okay that's why this diode can be used as a rectifier see here uh, just you can pick in milliamps okay see here there is there is zero current there is the other side there is no current play here just if you, even though if you increasing the around diode 6 0 0.6 volts there is no current okay if you increasing the so on voltage there is a chance to get a, a small little bit uh, microamps current okay especially this diode can be used as a, a rectifier circuits the best application of diode is the rectifier circuits okay uh, thank you so much thank you wish you all the best for your bright career thank you thank you so much